All right, so she's back up in there again. <laughs> You're probably asking, why is she back up in the air again? She was just in the air not too long ago. You were just working on it. Well, that's one of the perks of owning a drift car. You always stay consistently working on it. And I love it. It's great. It's so fun. Right here, we have a new clutch kit for an OS Gaiken. So we got that and we have a throw out bearing for all those screechy noises that you guys like. So I'm getting rid of those. So I don't want to film me pulling the trans out and stuff like that. It's kind of boring. So I'm just going to rip the trans out and I'll set the clutch over there with the new and we will uh, compare the two. So let's get started and let's, let's bust this thing out. I feel like I could do this. I, I, I pulled the trans numerous times on this car already, so we should be good to go. 12 seconds later. All right, so I got the trans out. I got the clutch sitting on the table. Now, this is an OS Gaiken twin disc clutch. So there's multiple pieces to it and they kind of go in order. So we're gonna pop these off and see how they are. Right off the bat here, I can tell you that the thing is super dirty. A lot of clutch dust. The pressure plate don't look too bad, which is good because I didn't get another one. So uh, first round of pieces here. Is the plate. As I could tell already, it's there's a lot of heat on these ones. So I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of heat was added to that. A lot of clutch kicks. I don't know if you guys seen how I drive, but I had a lot of clutch kicks. But everything looks in order. <laughs> Nothing looks broken. Another plate here. That's just a thin disc right here. But yeah, heat on both sides. On the last disc here, springs are a little loose, but yeah, and these things got a lot of dust on them for sure, but yeah, there's almost nothing there. I already opened this, but I want to show you guys something. These guys sent Japanese newspaper. I don't know what that says, but it's cool. These are what the new ones look like. Nice, shiny. Here's the middle plate. Everything's all brand new in here. So we shouldn't have an issue. And there's a lot of meat on these compared to my other ones. All right, so we're gonna throw this clutch back in the car, get the transmission back in the car, and go drive it. So let's do that. Three days later. So current update, I got the clutch in, the trans in. Now all we got left to do is I gotta add some gear oil and I got Jordan coming over to help me bleed the bleed the slave. So I wanted to share with you guys something else. I have these B-pillar trims. I get a lot of hate for these things because I don't have the trim on and it's red. And I, I probably deserve it 100% because honestly, I've had the trim ever since I've had the car. So a couple days ago, I added the rib nuts here right here so I could bolt them down. And Jordan actually took it upon himself to actually go get the clips for me and he's gonna bring them back. So we're gonna put it on. And it's, it's the little things that kind of pull the car together, right? So he's helping me out. He's gonna show up, we're gonna put them on too. Where'd you get these at? Nissan Parts from Instagram, yo. Oh, wow. I'll let you do the honors, bud. There you go. Ooh, baby. Oh man. Oh man. It only took two it's, years it's a <laughs> to get a complete car. <laughs> oh damn. Look at that. Wow. Wow. It's a whole new car. It's a nine day, dude. Very rare you actually work on your own car. First of all, I did a I put the whole trans in by myself. You were gonna you were supposed to come over here and help. What had happened was. What had happened was. I forgot you're not about that. Up. What are you doing? You just gotta what grab piece? that piece and this put piece? it on. It's right. already done. It's already ready. This one? No, we don't oh. need those. Oh, this? Yeah. Okay. Slap right. it on. Oh. Oh. The clip of success. Damn, that's, yeah, that sounds right. new. Quick detail glass cleaner. <laughs> Glass cleaner. <laughs> we glass clean the whole car. Okay? Dude, yeah. Plastic, glass cleaner. Yep. Metal, glass cleaner. Aluminum <laughs> wheels, glass cleaner. Might as well be polish. Right. Yeah, this whole engine bay, glass cleaner. Right. <laughs> A little bit more boost, glass cleaner. <laughs> Get some fuel pressure in there. Ooh. Wow. Right off the bat, first try. I can hear the throw 
loud bearing. I mean, it's not as loud as the other one. No, is, definitely but I can, not. I can feel right when it goes in. That must be an OS Geiken thing, huh? Right. Twin disc? Must be. All right, so we got the car outside and we just put the clutch in. I barely backed it out. Seems legit. Uh, I think the best way to actually test the clutch is to abuse it right away. So <laughs> we're gonna do a fat burnout right now. You can we'll abuse it, baby. We'll see if anything breaks. I'd rather break here than somewhere else. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Seems like he completed it. He's good. And look at these V pillar trim pieces on here. Looking damn fine. I flaked them and everything. I painted them a while back, honestly. Yeah, they came out really good. Ties the car in a little bit better. We're gonna take her on the street, me and Jordan, and we're gonna just run through the gears. I know the gears have nothing to really play with the clutch system, but just to make sure everything's good and see how see how fast she reacts to boosts and stuff like that make sure there's no slipping on high you know fourth gear or anything like that see what happens see what take happens. her out let her rip tater chip <laughs> Suspect driving down the street. 